Today we're going to calculate the ionization energy of carbon. The ionization energy for carbon is found by subtracting the energy of carbon in the ground state from the energy of carbon as a cation. And we're going to calculate the energy of these two states using Gaussian view. So you go to your desktop, click on Gaussian view 5.0, click to get rid of the tiny screen here, keep this little gray screen, and go to calculate, no not calculate, um, 6 carbon right here, and you click on carbon, carbon atom, and to build the carbon atom, click on the gray screen here. And we're going to set this up now for the carbon in the ground state. So you go to calculate, Gaussian calculation setup. Job type, energy, method, ground state, DFT, default spin, B3 LYP, basis set 6311G, plus plus D, P. And for the ground state, the charge will be zero, and for carbon, it has two unpaired electrons in the P orbital. So two plus one is three, so that would be a triplet, and triplet. And multiplicity is found by adding the number of unpaired of electrons to 1. So we want to submit this now. Save. And so you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Round State Carbon. So you want to save that as a GJF. Save. So submit, and when you press OK, it's going to launch the calculation. You let the program run, and you say yes to close the window, and it's going to pop up this, and you say OK to view the CHK file. And here is your carbon in the ground state and to get the energy of that you put results and then go to summary and you can find your total energy in atomic units on the menu right here. Alright so that is our energy of carbon as a grounded atom and so we are going to calculate carbon as a cation now and what its energy would be so we can calculate the ionization energy. So that and so click on 6C carbon carbon atom on the gray screen click the carbon atom so go to Gaussian calculation setup Job type, energy, method, ground state, DFT, default spin, B3LYP, 631G, plus plus, D, P, and for an ionized carbon, you will have only one unpaired electron, so in order to find the charge is going to be plus one, because you have one electron gone. And the multiplicity would be the number of unpaired of electrons plus one, which is one plus one, and that will be a doublet. And if this doesn't pop up on your spin, you will have to go to the edit and save it under WordPad and enter in two where you would have the wrong spin. And now you click submit. 
save and the name is cation carbon save okay to launch the calculations Yes, close the window. OK on the CHK file. Here's your carbon and go to results. And here's your energy of the carbon cation. So now to find the ionization energy, you would take this cation energy and subtract the energy you got in the ground state. And that concludes our ionization energy calculation.